Hi, it's Donna from Donna Joy Asha, and I want to tell you a story about a coaching call that I did. It was yesterday. Okay, so I spoke to a man who'd been trying to have success with his business, um, and this particular man was in network marketing. So he'd been trying to have a success with his business for 30 years. So 30 years he's put time and energy into this thing, and he was at a point where he had zero clients, well, zero team members, and zero customers. And when I said to him, he'd just joined a new company a year ago, and when I said to him, well, what have you been doing for the past year? He very proudly showed me a folder he'd been putting together where he had spent the last year trying to come up with a system that would allow him to recruit quickly. So it was basically pages that he could show people to explain the opportunity and talk to them about it. So he'd been doing that for a year, like perfecting it for a year, planning about what he was gonna use it for for a year, but he hadn't actually done anything. Does that sound familiar to any of you that where you are stuck in the getting ready? You're stuck in the getting ready to get ready to get ready because you never feel like it's good enough. You never feel like it's perfect enough. And deep down inside, this comes from us worrying about what people are gonna think about us. We worry that they're gonna laugh at us. So we, we use this getting ready as a barricade to protect ourselves because as long as we're getting ready, we're still working on our business, we're still doing something, we're just not putting ourselves out there, we're just not putting ourselves out there to start, but we have the excuse that we're getting ready. So I know when I first started out, I do used to do that a lot. I would spend all my time being so busy. I was like a busy little bee running around doing stuff. And then I would be so frustrated because I wasn't getting anywhere. But when I actually sat down and analyzed what I was doing, I hadn't actually been doing anything. It's like I had the most magnificent back system ever. I had a full training portal set out with all these videos in it. And I was getting frustrated because no one was going into it, but I wasn't actually telling anybody about it. I wasn't actually getting out there in front of anybody. I wasn't actually saying what I was doing. And I felt like because I had created this magnificent thing that people would just come to it. But people aren't mind readers and people have lives and they're busy. And you need to be putting yourselves in front of the right people and showing up as that person that could help them and telling them how you can help them and offering to help them for people to even start to come to you. I mean, even the people who need you are gonna take a while to come to you, okay? But you need to be out there continuously putting yourself out there, not worrying about what people are thinking, not worrying about whether or not they're gonna laugh at you because the people who need you are waiting for you. It just may take a while for them to come to you. Now, I can remember how long it used to take me just to release something in writing because I would go over it and go over it and go over it, making sure that I hadn't made any typos. And I remember when I first published my first book, how I would um, look at the reviews on Amazon and I would be, oh my God, if I, had a, if I had a one star review, it would cripple me for days. I would have to go for a walk and I'd be like, and meanwhile, I might have had 200 five star reviews in the same time that I got this one awful one star review, right? And often they weren't even about the book, often they were just personal attacks from nasty people, but I would let that, get in my way and stop me and I would use that as an obstacle to move forward. I, you need to realize that your stuff is never gonna be perfect, but it is gonna get better with time. But you gotta be doing it for that to happen. You gotta be out there for it to happen to get to the point where you can start to analyze what you're doing and start to say, well, why aren't people opening my emails or why did they open that email and not that email and then start to analyze the subject lines and start to just tweak and tweak and tweak and get better. But until you're actually doing it, until you're actually out there in the trenches, you can't start to get better. It's like the difference between learning a language from a textbook and actually immersing yourself in culture. You need to immerse yourself out there in your business for you to get better at it. So I want you to imagine a bird building a nest. When they start to build their nest, they go and get bigger pieces, bigger twigs, big things, and they weave together this framework, this structure. And at that point, it's not really functional. It's not really doing what they need. If they would put an egg in there, it wouldn't keep it warm enough. It wouldn't really do its job, but it's the framework, it's the start. Then they go and get the smaller twigs and the smaller things and they weave that in, they start to create, you know, fulfill the structure. And at that point, it's usable, right? But then they go and get the soft things and they go and find fur and feathers and things like that and they line the nest and they make it beautiful and snugly. That's the way we need to build our business. First, we need to get the structure, the framework in place. 
then once we've got that and we're using that and we can actually analyze that, then we can start to weave in the twigs and start to get better and better. And finally we can line it and we can start to make it perfect. All right, so stop procrastinating, get out there and start building your business. Now, if you wanna to talk to me about how I can help you build out the framework of your business, especially your online marketing side of it, so you can actually start to have people coming to you, start to bring people into your business so you can start to work with them, then jump on my calendar, donnajoyusher.com forward slash deep dash dive. I'll put a link with this video and I look forward to talking to you soon. Have an amazing day.